all right, you're not going to believe this. This charismatic uh, so-called pastor actually buried himself. He dies after burying himself for three days in an attempt to recreate Jesus Christ's resurrection. I'm not even joking. This is the fruit, more corrupt fruit from this wicked charismatic movement. I mean, like, you're not even going to believe this when I show you. But here it is. Uh, this is from Protestia. Charismatic pastor dies after burying himself for three days in an attempt to recreate Jesus Christ's resurrection. It's that simple. I mean, this like you, you literally can't even make this stuff up. And it was the picture of it right there. I have like I'm at a loss for words. But again, it's not surprising because the charismatic movement they uh, like to fake the gifts of the spirit that were for the Jews. First uh, Corinthians one twenty two, First Corinthians fourteen twenty two, are clear that the sign gifts were for the Jews. Uh, Exodus chapter four. Verses 28 to 30, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34. I mean, there's so many scriptures I can cover. Joel chapter 2, verses 28 to 30, 32. Acts chapter 2, verses 16 and 21. Many, many more scriptures show that the signs are for the Jewish people. They're not for Gentile Christians. But the charismatic movement neglects scripture for their human man-made tradition, just like any lost Pharisee would. But it says here, um, on Protestia, a pastor in Africa died after he, in an effort to prove he was a messenger from God, buried himself for three days while pledging he would rise again. Uh, James Skara, the 22-year-old pastor from Zion Church in Ch uh, Chadzia, Zambia, desired to demonstrate to his congregation that he had the anointing from the Lord and could provoid, perform the, mirac the miraculous by insisting on being buried alive in the underground tomb for three days. Uh, though they were skeptical, uh, he was able to convince three members with this with his scheme, binding his hands and burying him uh, under three feet of dirt. Okay, first of all, um, where in scripture are one of the gifts you know you can resurrect yourself? Where is that in scripture? Uh, because of his theo theological knowledge, he was he was, because his theological knowledge was clearly lacking. Before Amen to that, his theological knowledge was clearly lacking. Before he attempted his resurrection, he quoted Jesus' instructions at the Last Supper, quote, do this in remembrance of me, and insisted it was referring to being buried and resurrected, not not about and not about taking communion. I mean, scripture butchering like crazy. Uh, after being dug up three days later and finding a dead corpse, congregation members attempted to conduct a series of rituals to complete the resurrection, but the results were in vain. Again, it's witchcraft. That's all this is. The charismatic movement is full of witchcraft. That's all it is. And this is more proof that the charismatic movement goes hand in hand with witchcraft and sorcery and divinations and enchantments. Okay, I'm going to show you some scripture on this subject, on the thing of dwelling in tombs and that kind of stuff, how it is associated with devil possession. Mark chapter 5, verse 1, down to uh, verse, I think it's uh, verse 7, I'll, I'll go on to verse 17. And they came over uh, to the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadareans, and when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, the tombs, notice that, a man with an unclean spirit, kind of like the charismatics, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no not with chains. You see these, these charismatic witches and, and Ahabs and harlots who can break out of chains. Why? Because they have devils in them. The charismatic movement will lead to getting, you getting devils inside of you. When they cast demons out, devils out, they're actually imparting devils into you. Uh, because that he had often been found with often ha had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Kind of like their uh, faking of the, of the speaking in tongues, this demonic gibberish that they do. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Hmm. You'll see that among charismatics too. They cry. They they wail. Because they're filled with devils, that's why. It's not when they're the, the Holy Spirit comes in. No, they're they're filled with devil spirits. Uh, but when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. You know, these charismatics, they they'll say good things about they'll they'll claim they worship Jesus Christ. So did so did devil possessed people. They worship Jesus Christ too. Um and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee Jesus? Sorry, got a sore throat. Uh, thou son of God, son of the Most High God, I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. Notice that right there, son of the Most High God. You know, charismatics still say that too. Oh, Jesus Christ, son of the Most High God. 
devil possessed people can, can confess that too again james 2 19 the devils they believe in god too they tremble they tremble they're they they fear god too and they have a good reason to it doesn't prove anything it doesn't prove that these charismatics are not filled with devils in fact it only proves that they are filled with devils by making these confessions because here we see a devil, devil possessed man making those confessions jesus christ thou son of the most high god for he said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit and he asked him what is thy name and he answered my name is legion for we are many and he besought him uh, much that he would not send him them away out of the country and there was uh and and there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding and the devils besought him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them and forthwith jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and they were about two thousand and were choked in the sea okay i don't think i'll stop right there actually that's the end of the thing right there verse 13 but what do you have about these charismatic devils dwelling among tombs kind of like this uh pastor charismatic pastor um who buries himself the charismatic movement is full of devils the charismatic movement is a devil possessed satanic witchcraft enchantment filled movement it's wicked it's not of the holy spirit it's of the antichrist spirit and yeah i am ripping on it because they're leading people astray with their faking of the jewish gifts of the spirit the gifts of the spirit were for the jews they weren't for christians it's that simple first corinthians chapter 1 verse 22 first corinthians 14 22 exodus chapter 4 verse 28 to 31 exodus chapter or deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 34 exodus chapter 7 verse 3 to 5 joel chapter 2 verses 28 to 32 acts chapter 2 verses 16 and 21 i mean i could just go on and on and on sign gifts were for the jews matthew chapter 10 verses 5 to 8 i mean Scripture after scripture after scripture shows these sign gifts were for the Jews. They weren't for Gentile Christians. But the charismatic movement rejects that because they hold their human traditions above the holy scriptures. It's that simple. Don't be deceived by this demonic charismatic movement. Uh, this is the fruit of this movement. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.